uh, first of all, I would like to define the real workpiece. To do it, I go to machining, click on the machine, choose workpiece, remove this one, and add turn envelope around x axis. Add. Okay. So right now we have the we have the real workpiece. Okay. The next step the next step I use the same 5D contouring operation that you already create and define the job assignment. Click this one. Well, you define correct job assignment, but the tool goes uh, f inside uh, the part. We need to inverse the tool axis. To do it, click parameters, strategy, and click this button inverse to axis direction ok after that recalculate so right now we have correct tool pass but it goes along this line we need to move this line in six millimeters down to make it click parameters strategy and this axial displacement I set minus six ok calculate so reset my workpiece next step going 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 very good but uh, we have the red sign and if I will look at it we can see that we contact the, the workpiece on the rapid feed to remove it I set parameters lead in save distance 9 millimeters for example and uh, also very good <laughs> the next I would like to machine this uh, pocket and this one to do it I set here click uh, to do not select faces, select on the, the edges. Make double click on this edge. All smoothly connected edges are selected and click project line. So uh, the, these faces uh, is highlighted, but I would like to machine these faces to, to change the direction. I select this one, click properties and altern set alternate front side ok uh, and the same with the last pocket double click on the edge project curves select properties alternate front side ok calculate so right now we have the make machine visible yes something like this reset set slower 